Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now, a couple of months ago, I installed some auxiliary, auxiliary lights on my BMW GS. And to do that, I had to use a special wiring loom that hooks up with the CAN bus on the bike. And it went under the seat and it was called a Hex Easy CAN. Now, uh, the company that makes the Hex Easy CAN saw the video I made about that. It's a company called Hexco, they're based in South Africa. And they recently got in touch as a result and asked if I wanted to try out some of their other products. Uh, in particular, something they call the GS911 Wi-Fi. What the heck is one of those I hear you say? Well. Well, it's one of these, comes in a nice shiny little box. And basically what it is, is a uh, diagnostic tool for BMW motorcycles. Now, well that's called a GS911, it's not just for use on the GS, it's for use on any bike that has the similar uh, diagnostic port. So bikes like the R1200RT, uh, the R9T, the S1000RR, to name but a few, there's a full listing on their website. And if you stick around and stay tuned for the next couple of minutes, I'll show you how you set that up, how you use it and what it does. Okay, so before we can get cracking on the functions of the uh, GS911, what we've got to do is actually uh, connect it up to the diagnostic port. Now, on the GS, that lives underneath the battery cover, so you've just got to whip that off first. Just one of those little um, Torx connectors that BMW are so keen on. Anyway, once you've got the cover off, just pulls out. And then the diagnostic port itself is this little bit here. It just sort of pulls out. There we go. Uh, and then it's got this little cover on it which you just pull off, and then you take the GS911 and it just plugs straight in, just make sure you've got the alignment correct, which is that way. And on she goes, nice and secure, and that's it. And then we can see a little flashing light there to indicate that it's connected properly to the bike. Okay, so we just leave that dangling there for now. So once you've got the device physically connected, you, you get these flashing lights. It's got a solid uh, light at the moment to show that it's actually connected to my local area network here, my Wi-Fi network, and another light to show that it's actually looking for a device to talk to, so you can actually look at the codes and so on. And that device can be one of two things. It can either be uh, an Android or an Apple phone, or it can be your laptop. Now initially, when you set it up, you have to actually set the machine up, obviously to access your Wi-Fi and so on, using the USB connection to your laptop. Once you've done that though, you can then just access it via your local Wi-Fi network. So let me show it to you on the laptop and on the phone as well. Okay, so this is the uh, laptop setup that I got in the garage. Uh, on the desktop here, there's a little app called uh, GS911 Wi-Fi Utility, so I'm going to click on that. Okay, so I'm going to set, uh, just click on the GS911 Wi-Fi Utility there, and it opens up a little dialog box here. And it shows me that it's found one uh, GS911 uh, device on my Wi-Fi. So I click on Open Browser for Selected Device. Uh, you may not be able to see the detail on the screen here, but take my word for it, that's what it says. And it opens up this browser giving you access to that little box of tricks that I plugged in just now. So if I go to uh, Auto Scan, and I'll just turn the bike's ignition on. There we go, and then I do Perform Basic Auto Scan. There we go. It's now scanning for all the uh, error codes and startup routines that the that the bike operates. And here we go, there's the Auto Scan. So it comes up, I won't uh, go through all the detail with you. But, you know, you can see the sorts of things that it's got in here. It tells you uh, various um, serial numbers, manufacturers, dates, when various controllers are installed, all sorts of um, basic configuration information about your bike, all the um, ROM codes, manufacturers, everything that you need to know, uh, or not more, may, may, may not need to know. Uh, but basically, it gives you everything that, um, that the bike is reporting, including any fault codes that come up. And, and here, look, we can see that I've actually got a, uh, I've got a fault showing on the exhaust flap servo motor adjustment error, and it's currently present, um, which is interesting. Uh, apparently, it's happened 48 times, uh, and, it's, and it's currently there. So that's something when I next go to the dealers, I'm going to talk to them about the exhaust flap servo motor and get that adjusted. OK, so that's, uh, that's um, how it looks on the laptop. Let me show you on the phone as well. OK, so there's all sorts of uh, functions you can do on the laptop that you can't do on the phone, but the phone gives you the essential stuff. So let me just show you how this works. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this all right. If I just uh, hold the phone up here, hopefully uh, you might be able to see it without too much glare. Let's see if I can focus you a little bit. Uh, there we go, can you see that? Right, there's a little app down here that says GS911 Wi-Fi. If I touch that, it fires up the app. Let's try not to uh, blind you. Okay, and then it's found it, so I can connect to that, and bingo. And then it gives me all those options again, similar to how I had on the laptop. Uh, I can do the auto scan and look at the fault codes again. Let's do that. If I do perform basic auto scan, here we go. It's doing it now. It says busy as it's thinking about it. And here we go. It gives you all the basic bike information again. And uh, you can look at all the various modules that are installed. And then at the end, 
it shows you the fault codes and there's that exhaust flap fault code again that we saw on, on the laptop. Okay, so that's one thing it does. If we then go uh, back to module finder, uh, this looks through uh, at all the various modules that you've got in, installed on the, on the bike, all the various controllers show this, the semi-active suspension, the instrument cluster, immobiliser, body controller, tyre pressure monitoring, ABS and engine controller. Uh, so it gives you the types of all those as well. If you go back to home, this is information obviously that's important to somebody that's servicing your bike. So back rather. And then if I go um, back again, here we go. Now if I go to series, I can uh, go into R series. Uh, this is all the bikes that it's supported. Let's do R1200GS liquid cooled. And then it shows you, again, all the controllers. And this is where you can actually cycle the controllers if you want and servos and things and run tests and so on. I won't do that now. Um, but for example, I don't know, if I chose, I don't know, semi-active suspension. Here we go. It will show you all the uh, ECU information related to it. You can clear any fault codes on it, real-time values, etc., etc. So if we look at the real-time values, for example. You can select what you want. I mean, these are just, these mean not a lot to me, but you select which ones you want, display the values, and here we go. It shows you that the uh, trip rocker switch isn't actuated. The front EDC valve is currently drawing 1500 milliamps and 31% uh, on the front EDC PWM, whatever one of them is. So there's loads of stuff in here if you're into tinkering with your bike. Um, the other thing that might be of interest is if you go again back, see it says service functions. If you go into that, and it's busy at the moment as it reads them. This shows you the um, resetting your service interval in, uh, indicator, for example. If you didn't want to go to a dealer and you'd service the bike yourself, you can reset that from here. So again, a useful thing. And again, this is clearing fault codes, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a whole shed load of stuff you can do on the phone as well. Okay, so it's clear then there's bags of functionality in the GS911. And the fact that you can access it via a laptop or phone is fantastic. And don't think you have to be at home on your Wi-Fi network either. There's a kind of in-the-field mode that you can switch this to, and this becomes a Wi-Fi hotspot itself. And you just connect your phone to the hotspot, and you can do all the things that uh, I just showed you whilst you're out and about in the field. It's completely self-contained. Now, clearly, this is aimed at the sort of uh, home bike enthusiast, somebody that might do a lot of work on their bike themselves, and then needs to reset uh, fault codes and so on themselves. Um, this is what's called the enthusiast version uh, of the device, and, and uh, it remembers up to 10 VIN codes. So you can't buy one amongst, you know, and then, and then uh, use it to reset every service interval ind indicators, but you can buy one and use it for up to 10 bikes. Uh, for the emergency functionality, the stuff you might want to do at the roadside that may stop the bike from starting because there are error codes that are stopping the bike, then uh, those are known as emergency functions, and you can do that on as many bikes as you want to. So if you're out with your mates and there's a problem, uh, you can use it to get you out of trouble. Okay, so there we are. That's the uh, Hex Code GS911 motorcycle diagnostic device. Now I've just, you know, I've just scratched the surface there to show you how easy it is to connect the thing up and how to get the thing working on your phone and your laptop. There's oodles of stuff it can do, and I've not gone into any of the detail on that. So if you want to go to the uh, Hex Code website, you can check out all the details there. They've got. Um, YouTube videos and all sorts about uh, everything that the, that the unit can do. But I know what you're wondering, how much is it going to cost you if you want to get one? Well, these things don't come cheap, I'm afraid. Uh, if you go to the UK supplier, which is a, co a company called alexa.co.uk, again, I'll, I'll put some links below, then I think they're on the website at the moment for £334. That's for the enthusiast version that works with 10 VIN numbers. If you've got the pro version that works with unlimited numbers, then I think it comes in around about 600 something like that. But check out the details on the website. So that's it for now. I hope that's been of some interest and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Missing Them Fly. Cheerio.